Uh, first off, absolute humiliation for Prince Harry in the High Court. Uh, you're aware of his long-running battle uh, to try to get the Home Office to give him armed police protection when he comes to Britain, along with his family. Uh, he's lost that case a couple of times now. Uh, he's going to appeal again, but a judge says, right, first of all, you've got to... Uh, compensate the British taxpayer. So he's going to be uh, left with a bill of about a million pounds. 500,000 of it has to go to us. That's our legal expenses. Thanks very much, Harry, for that waste of time and effort uh, and money. Uh, and uh, also, uh, the, the, the judge, Sir Peter Lane, said, well, look, you can appeal again if you want, uh, but you're wasting your time because your chances of succeeding in this legal action are, and I quote, frankly hopeless. So he's been told to just put up, shut up, go away. You're not winning this case. Uh, and uh, when he tried to appeal, when his lawyers tried to appeal, uh, he said, well, we've won some elements of this case. And the judge said, no, you haven't. Yeah. You have comprehensively lost this entire... He said, you've comprehensively lost. So Harry, like a dog with a bone when it comes to legal actions, he's going to have to give this one up. Otherwise, I think there's something wrong with him upstairs. Well, that's the only indication that there's something wrong with him upstairs. Yeah, well, I think there's one. Other hints. It, it, his confetti-like legal the, actions. It's the petulance and the privilege. When he was told, look, you're not working rules anymore, you're not residents of this country, so no, you can't just decide whenever you come back to Britain you're going to get the full shebang, the police escort, the blue lights, the outriders, whatever they're called. You're not getting that. It costs too much money, you don't live here, and you're not doing anything for the country. He should have gone... Fair enough. Uh. And just got on with it. Because when he comes to visit his family, when he came over that flying visit to see his dad after his dad's cancer diagnosis, King Charles made sure he had all of the bells and whistles for getting... Well, it was King Charles. I think it's... Not, if you're going to go and see the king yeah, or members the, of, the, the, of the frontline royal family, you get the protection. He is not a member right. of the exactly. frontline royal family. But if family. you're coming over here to, I don't know, yeah. be pictured yeah. with your gurning wife at an Adele concert and then go to Soho House, lucky. you don't get the stuff. You'll be, you'll be lucky. Enough. My prediction, we'll never see Meghan in this country again. Uh, I'm here, <laughs> to, here to be uh, made to look a fool when she does turn up, but I don't think she ever will. Uh, there we are. Uh, but uh, let's see if he appeals. If he does, uh, then, uh, Harry, I think you better go and I see. The only way I think you better Harry go and see appealing. the men in white coats and just give up on all oh, these... Oh, that's all he ever does. He needs to stop seeing the men in white legal coats. legal actions. Honestly, it's ridiculous.